I'm going to teach you um, a mnemonic for maths. There's tons of them. Okay. Oh. Here it is. So. Okay. So looks like so, right? At least I hope it is. Okay. So under algebra, particularly under this topic called products and factors, um, if you have not already, you're soon going to learn this particular result. I'll show you. Um, it's called the sum and difference of cubes, and you'll see why in a second. Okay. You can jot this down if you like, whether or not you um, have met it already. The sum, and like that. Yeah. the sum and difference of cubes. Yeah, you've heard it before? Okay, so it's a result. It's kind of like a formula. Right? It looks like this. Um, that's that one, and here's this one. Okay, I hope you guys at the back can see it. Now, what it means is not that important. Okay? Um, it's called the sum and difference of cubes. The point, though, is that um, this is fiendishly hard to remember. Even people all the way up to year 12, right, um, get confused about this. And uh, the, the fruit of that is that, you know, if you ask someone in like first year uni, um, if they're not doing maths at uni, none of them will remember this because they've held it in their brain just long enough to use it for their HSC and then pff, off it goes, okay? It's hard to remember. Um, now, yeah. How did you remember that? Well, okay, so let me show you, right? Now, um, it's tricky because you have all these numbers and letters, um, but I'll tell you what's the hardest thing to remember. It's not the numbers and letters, believe it or not. Okay, as a math teacher, I see people get these wrong all the time. I'll tell you exactly what they get wrong. It's these guys. Uh, it's the pluses and minuses. It's the signs. Now, can, any, can anyone tell me, why do you think that would be the thing that's hard to remember about these formulas? Change the thoughts? Change the whole equation. Okay, number one, like if I change one of these to a plus, that's a minus. It totally breaks down. It's not the same thing at all anymore. Okay? Anyone else tell me? Any other reasons why that might be the particular thing that's tricky? Yeah? Yeah, because um, everything else is either like x or y and not. So our brains, right, are actually quite good at like even seeing kind of the, the, the broad picture of what it looks like. Okay, x's and y's and um, this particular thing in here looks kind of like a perfect square. Anyway, right? The reason the plus and minus is a hard to remember is because there's number one, there's three of them, right? And there's all different kinds of ways to combine pluses and minuses, right? It's like, is it plus minus plus, or is it plus minus minus, or minus plus plus, or it, it's all different ways to get it, and they're very similar to each other. Can you see how close they are, but not quite, right? They're just close enough to confuse you, right? So instead of trying to remember that, you remember this. This is how I remembered it, okay? So you write down SOAP. What does SOAP stand for? I'll tell you. So it stands for same, opposite, always positive. Okay, now I'll, I'll show you what it means, okay? There are three signs there, pluses or minuses, right? And you just have to, the hard part is working out which one's which, okay? All you have to do is think about how you start. Let's do this bottom one, okay? So it starts with a minus. So the three signs I'm going to get are, in order, first, the same. Right? That's a minus. It's the same as the one I had on the front. Right? The next one's going to be the opposite. It's a plus. Right? And this last one, I don't know if you noticed, but it's a, it's a plus no matter which one you've got. It's, it's always positive. Okay? So, okay, now you tell me, uh, which is easier to remember? All of this garbage here, or that? Now, uh, much to my frustration, I learned this when I was training to become a math teacher. So when I was like second or third year uni, I was like, why did no one tell me this five years ago when it would have been useful to me? Um, instead, I broke my brain trying to remember this and inevitably got some of the questions wrong, okay? But now you guys know it, so you can use it. Uh, and there's tons more, like in, in question time, we'll see how we go. I'm drastically running out of time here. Uh, I can tell you about FAIR, which is about, it's, it's about ske sketching graphs. You can ask me what it stands for later, if you want. Um, there's one called TAPE, which is about a three-unit math topic called mathematical induction. Uh, the point is, there are lots of them, um, and you can make ones up if there, there isn't one. You've got a series of steps, like four or five things. It's really hard to remember four or five things, so you use a mnemonic tally.